Hello, um, my name's Suzanne. I'm a psychotherapist in Berkshire Health Trust, and I'm here with my colleague Anne, who's also a psychotherapist, to run through a short presentation on um, our particular modality of talking therapy, which is called psychodynamic psychotherapy. Um, and this is a presentation to outline what we mean by that, what we do, um, how that fits into the trust and what you might need to know if you are thinking about exploring this direction. So we're going to start with um, a sort of little definition of what psychodynamic psychotherapy is. And as you can see on the slide, psychodynamic psychotherapy is one of the talking therapies designed to help people who are struggling with their mental health. So it draws on theories and practices of analytic psychology and psychoanalysis. And this is based on the idea that what we experience as a conscious difficulty in the present may also point to an unconscious problem that has its roots in the past. So psychotherapy works with emotions as well as cognitions and is best described as an exploratory approach. And it is also known as a relational way of working. And it, um, so it's a kind of therapy which often, you know, is given more time, is more in depth um, and, you know, people need to be in the right kind of place to use it. You have to be able to tolerate quite painful emotions and thoughts and often people might have done a, a more skills based therapy to help them regulate their feelings like panic or anxiety before they feel able to really go underneath um, where the feelings, where the problems might be coming from. Um, okay, so what do we do? Um, so as you can see, there's, we sort of compiled a list of some of the different functions um, that we serve or different roles that we hold um, within the trust. As you can see, there's quite a list there starting with individual therapy, which could be um, also in a group. Generally, therapy is weekly, but we also work as part of a team. And as you will see from the list that we often facilitate uh, thinking about clients in very uh, many different ways, conducting assessments, providing supervision uh, and attending referral meetings where uh, decisions can be made about patients' treatment choices. And often psychotherapists are able to sort of bring a different angle onto what we think might be going on for someone. So it's it's very it's very interesting and very helpful to have um, psychological therapists who have you know come from slightly different angles. We'll be coming from all underneath, and then there'll be you know maybe cognitive therapists who are looking at thought processes. And you know my experience certainly is that. Uh, it's a really rich um, sort of coming together of different ways of thinking about mental health problems, which are very complex and, of course, are sort of hidden. You're working in the dark in many ways. Um, so where can we do this work? Where do we work is the next um, slide. And as you can see, you with a psychotherapy training, you can work in a number of locations. Primarily, the NHS is quite a large employer of psychotherapists who work as part of psychological therapy teams, but it's not the only place that you can work as a psychotherapist. There are trauma units, uh, refuge, uh, refugee services, um, private practice. Again, a lot of people combine private practice with NHS work or with work within organisations, businesses, schools, and some people go on and become trainers within the educational training uh, institutions that you can then apply to to train. Mm -hmm. And um, how can you get there? So there's um, some information there and we just wanted to sort of highlight that it's a postgraduate qualification. You need an undergraduate degree, but it doesn't matter in what. Um, 
and that we really uh, would stress that if you think you might want to work in the NHS or to give you that option, actually, it is important that you choose a training which is validated by, so as on, on the slide, the UKCP or the BPC. They are the accrediting bodies that the NHS will accept. So it's probably worth making sure, you know, any training course you're interested in uh, will give you that accreditation. Um, and personal therapy is a key part of all psychotherapy trainings. And it's, you know, one of the greatest benefits, I would say, that you get from it. Um, and many people carry it, you know, carry it on. But so it's something you really benefit from yourself in that way as well. OK, we this is a little slide with just some words that we thought of in terms of, you know, qualities that we think lend themselves to working in this way. But um, finally, some further, some websites with further information if you were interested and in which we obviously hope that you are. Um, so we hope that that um, has explained something of what a psychotherapist is, what we do, where we work, how we fit into the NHS. Um, and uh, thank you very much for listening um, and best of luck. Bye-bye.